Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird looking four sided skull for a gobble gregor. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? Let me know if you change your mind. each other's sentences we double each other's happiness we share each other's husbands we multiply each other's wait, wait, wait what what you said we share each other's husbands yep i don't you've been kissing my husband uh oh my god two timer it's double the fun please excuse us we need to talk about this Sorry. Hi, I'm Harry Twofold. Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's The door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evan's friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two, and Evan would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? I wonder if they could fix you. Though Dicey was affecting the giant the board game. game.
ending the final round. The board game is about to end. wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip. Which was good, because it saved me from having to repeat myself. <laughs> to each other. No, nor are you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you.
Right. A good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't, which means you, hypothetically, I've heard tell of a dice circulating Cellar Street. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here, people don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like you, hypothetically, of course, well, I'd be interested, and I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Oh, go goodness. I've told you all I can. Oh, ex except that I've heard with, And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until before you know... Then, you give it to me, and I will take... <sighs> All this tuners reminds me of Odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. As she looked up, even began to realize that Two Town's name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Huh? <laughs> oh. A dice? Where did you come from, little one? My what? Let him go! That's right, you better smarten up and look where you're going, or I- Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister, though. Thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. Oh, uh, not like that. A nanny Fortuna. Old lady, right hand of the queen. She is as mean as she is old. Anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. So, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. <laughs> the Civil War and Freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but enough about that. What's up with this dice? I haven't seen a real one in years. I see you're missing a couple of pips, little one, if you're gonna go anywhere. You are new, aren't you? A uh, door to three towns forever locked. Uh, keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you, but... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. 
Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm certain the nanny passed my eye. <laughs> Heck no. We'd all be in six town, living the high life, relaxing by, uh, by... Or whatever it is that six towners relax by. Uh, especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor. So, so you'll help out old Seymour? Thank you. Be careful with that two faced mayor. Okay, if you need me, I'll be over at the town square. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too.